Hey, Horsepower Nation, it's Eric again. I'm here back with another uh, tip on uh, some automotive stuff for you. We got the Trainwreck F250 back again. You might remember from the last time when we put a repair panel on this thing, we had it all gutted out. It was all rotten out. Got that all out. Got the repair panel in. We got the body work done. About 20 hours worth of work between that and sanding. So, as you can see, resembles more of a milking cow than it does a tow vehicle. So, we're going to take care of that today because, uh, let me show you something. We got toys today to play with, okay? We're going to use that. We're going to mix up some paint. We're going to paint it white. That way it matches the way it is. And hopefully this thing will resemble a tow vehicle more than it will a fifth grader trying to do a crayon art on it. So uh, I'm going to go mix some paint. I'll be right back and uh, we'll see how this thing turns out. Hey guys. All right. So we got some paint mixed. Uh, I'm using three parts of paint to one part reducer, paint thinner, one part activator, and, and a dash of um, some accelerator. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check out our, our spray pattern if you will on here because you want to make sure that we got the right uh, you don't want to get too much and that's pretty good right there because again you want to adjust your spraying speed to each gun can adjust to how you spray whether you like to spray fast take your time because you don't want to get too much material you're going to get runs you also want to get enough of air pressure through your gun atomize the gun because if it doesn't atomize the paint you're going to get orange peel which means you're going to spend a lot of time doing color sanding and buffing later so this particular paint because it's thick i'm running 40 psi of pressure through the gun uh, most guys like to run anywhere from 25 to 30 um, with with a thinner paint but because this is a thicker paint i'm going to run about 40 pounds of pressure through the gun we're going to make some passes here we're going to see how this turns out and uh We'll touch up base with you later. It's turning orange. Now, as you can see, now my air compressor is running, so it's hard to hear. It's kind of slow up a little bit. You can go faster, slower. You can see what the material looks like when it's getting put onto the panel. If it looks real heavy, you can either adjust your gun or spray faster. If it looks like there's not enough, you either slow down or have more material come out of your gun. That right there looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave this setting where it's at and we're going to paint the rest of the truck and see how it turns out. I'll check back with you in a couple minutes. Hey guys, back here. Just got done spraying. Got about four coats of white on here. And, uh, I don't know how well you can see that. Um, it does have a bit of a shine to it. We're going to have to uh, wet sand it and stuff. I'm eventually going to clear coat it. But for now, I mean, it's not bad. It's uh, We got rid of the rust. It's uh, white again. Not primer looking like a cow. So that's always a good thing. So, uh, so yeah. So it ended up turning out pretty good. The gun worked great. Um, work spraying at 40 PSI. Really atomized the, uh, the paint. I really don't see a lot of orange peel. Um, I don't see any runs either um, at this point. I have been looking for it. I don't see any runs, which is a good thing. So, which means we had the gun adjusted the way it should be adjusted to uh, spray that. So, uh, we're going to let this tag up. We're going to, and then what we're going to do is unmask it, and then uh, we're going to uh, put the tail lights back in, and we'll see how it turns out from there. All right. Uh, maybe stick around for that yet, and then we'll wrap it up. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, back here. Just unmasked some of the truck. We'll walk down the side here. As you can see, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, I'm sure you can see that, but um, the uh, the old stripe, which we're going to paint again. Uh, you see that I missed it a little bit when I masked it, but we're going. This is the stripe we're going to do, and we're going to continue it all the way down for the rest of the truck. But we can look here. You know, it, for Compared compared to what it was when I when it, before I sanded it, it's not too bad, you know. So, and it actually matches the other paint in the front, not too far off. So we got lucky there. So, um, 
So I'm going to unmask the stacks in the rear window and uh, we're going to let this thing set up and then probably in another week or two we're going to put the stripes on uh, to match the other, to match what's on the front and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, this is crash course in painting. Um, this might help you if you want to paint your car, truck, whatever, give you some pointers. Uh, the highlights um, I would say would do three parts of paint, one part of reducer one part activator and a little bit of um, accelerator in it. And um, you know, spray your spray pattern's your biggest thing. Um, I like an oval pattern, um, it's, you know, pretty widespread um, and a decent amount of material. Again, you're gonna adjust that it all, you could adjust that into how your style of how you like to spray, whether you like to spray fast, slow, however, and you can also adjust to the gun too. So it's however you want to do that, but it is possible without a spray booth to get a decent, you know, look, um, you know, it's stressful cause yeah, I'm worried about birds pooping on the truck now and bu bugs flying into it until it cures, but it's possible to do it. You know, it's not, you know, not bad for an old heap. So anyway, take care of each other. Uh, like the video, subscribe please. And uh, you can check me out uh, on the uh, my Facebook page, Big E's Drag Specialties. And uh, sometimes I get some stuff up there uh, or check back here on my YouTube channel. And uh, so take care of each other. God bless. We'll see you later. Bye.